Hey coach, I'm so excited for you to learn how to do a discovery call for your coaching business. And what a discovery call is, is it's basically a free sales call where you're going to get on the phone with a potential client and help them to figure out what is best next steps for them um, with their vision and goals. And if your coaching program is a good fit. And so today we have Krista, another fabulous Krista, who is one of our current coach training students, and she's going to be doing a mock discovery call with me. So I am going to be the potential client. She is going to be the coach, and we're going to do this for about 10 minutes to show you all what a discovery call can look and feel like. And then after that, we will um, do some commentary and some feedback so you all can understand what was happening in the discovery call today. So um, are you ready to go, Krista? I'm so ready. Okay. Hi, Krista. How are you? Hi, Krista. I'm so excited to talk with you today. I know. I'm so happy you booked this call. I saw your little appointment notification come through and I just got so excited. Um, so how's your day going so far? It's going pretty well. Um, we had to pick up my son early from daycare because we have ice outside oh, right now. Yeah. Um, but luckily, we were able to get him home safely. And he's taking a nap. So I can focus on my business stuff right now. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm glad he, you all are home safe and sleep. <laughs> Little one is sleeping and comfortable and everything. Yeah. So um, I saw that you booked online. And since we haven't had a discovery call before, I'd love to just let you know a little bit about what to expect. Mm -hmm. So um, today we're just going to chat. I'm going to ask you some questions where um, I get to know a little bit more about your goals and uh, what you're hoping to possibly get out of coaching. And then at the end, we can talk about the different ways um, we could work together. Uh, does that sound good for you? Yeah, that's perfect. I love it. Okay. Awesome. So what inspired you to book this call today? Um, yeah, I've been following you online on Facebook for a while, and I really love your writing style and your posts, and you're so authentic, and your writing is amazing. I'd, I'd love to be able to write like you. Um, and I just, lately, I've been wanting to lean more into like my spirituality, yeah. and I love that you have this like boss witch brand, and I want to you know, tap more into becoming like a witch and using my powers and rituals and everything to create more, you know, just success and abundance in my coaching business. And so I think I saw something that you were like opening up spots for your boss switch school or program, but um, I just want to learn more today and, and see how I could potentially work with you because I feel like you could really help me. Absolutely. I thank you so much for the compliment. That is just wonderful. I'm so glad that the writing is resonating with you and I am more than happy to teach you anything you want to know about writing and witchcraft and all the things. Um, so yes, I do have a few spots open for my one-to-one -one in the Boss Witch School, uh, but I'd love to know what your goals are. Are you running a business right now? Yes. Uh, yes. So I'm a life coach and business mentor, and I work with new life coaches, helping them to start up their coaching businesses. And um, I'm always just looking to learn how to take things to the next level and run my business more efficiently and um, find more paying clients and, and make more money. Um, I'm currently, last year, I brought in around like $70,000. And my goal this year is to bring in um, $100,000 or more. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah. You're doing big things. Yes, I love action takers. Okay, um, so how can I support you today? Do, do you have anything that's top of mind? One of the biggest things I need probably is like accountability. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes when you're working by yourself behind a computer, it's easy to like let other life situations and stuff get in the way. Um, I've worked with coaches in the past and I found that like when I, I meet every week with a coach, um, it's really helpful for me to get clear on what it is I want to work on. And then knowing that someone's going to be like checking in with me 
every week to make sure I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do. Okay. Very cool. So what are some of the things that are starting to slip when you don't have that accountability? Um, I just find myself like not selling as often and um, sometimes selling is still like a little bit outside my comfort zone. And I know I could be doing it more. I know I could be more visible with my offers. Um, So I find myself sometimes like creating more content like my YouTube videos or my Facebook lives. And so I think I just want to find new ways to sell and ways that feel good for me and and to have someone to like reminding me to do that too each week. Oh, that would be fantastic. Well, I would be honored to work with you. Um, Do you have any questions for me around this one-on-one program? Um, Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't know a whole lot about it. Do you think you could, you know, tell me what some of the details are, like how long is it and the price and how many sessions and all of that? Absolutely. So the one on one private program in the boss witch school, you basically get full access to me. This is the premium premier package amongst all of the suite of things. So we would coach together for six months. We have one 60 minute coaching call um, via Zoom every single week, except for the week of the full moon. And on the week of the full moon, instead of having our regularly scheduled coaching call, you're gonna have a appointment to spend some self love time with with yourself. It's like, serious integration you know this isn't just skipping a week this is actually dedicating that hour to demonstrating to the universe that you love yourself and you love your business and doing that magic so in addition to the coaching calls you also get support from me during my office hours and when you join you'll get a welcome packet with your full call schedule Uh, You'll get the link to the Zoom meetings. You'll get um, my cell phone number because I'm really big on just like text me. If something goes on, if there's an emergency, um, if you just need a little extra pick me up, you can text me. Um, As long as it's during my office hours, you can expect me to respond within about three hours of receiving your message. Um, If it's off hours, It might take a little bit longer, but I'm always here for my clients. Um, I like to include a lot of resources in my coaching. So I coach in the container where we talk and we work through and I hold you accountable. And then there's also a shit ton of resources in the background. So if you need sales templates, if you need help editing copy, if you need some ideas for creating sales specific content, I, I'm at your disposal. So I really love helping my clients with those type of practical things as well. Um, and as a one-on-one client, you also get access for the full six months to any master classes, events, or programs I have going on. You have a full like VIP ticket to all of it. Um, and I think that covers everything. Uh, the price is $10,000 for six months and I do have pay in full options or I have a monthly payment plan. Um, that is $1,666, um, per month for six months. And I'm flexible with the payment plans as well to, to work with what you need. So how does that feel? Yeah, that feels pretty good. I probably will go with the monthly payment plan for right now. Oh, I love it. Okay, fabulous. So can I take your credit card information now? Yeah, I do just have one question. Sure. Um, So I'm just a little worried because like I said, I do run a full-time business and I have a toddler that I, he's not in full-time daycare and Uh, I just like want to really make sure that I have time for this. Um, What is kind of like the time commitment each week, would you say? So before I answer that question, can you tell me how much time are you committing to your business right now as you are? Um, I would say like I 
do about like four hours a day. So like 20 hours a week, I work on my business. And then the rest of the time I'm taking care of my son. Okay. All right. And how is that feeling energetically for you right now? It feels pretty good right now. I've just in the past, I've been that really over ambitious, excited person that likes to sign up for everything. And then I easily get overwhelmed. Completely. So Completely. I'm just, I just like want to make sure I don't go back to that place where I overcommit. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely something that's so normal. And I hear it all the time. And I am that person too. Um, I can easily overcommit if I go on autopilot and just get excited and sign up for all the things. So my job as a responsible coach is to make sure that you aren't overextending yourself and to just keep checking in because it's very easy to go on autopilot. So every week, uh, so that would be one hour per week, we have our coaching call in terms of time. Um, any of the additional master classes and programs, I would love to have you involved, but I would like you to do an energy check. It's optional. You can attend, you cannot attend. It really depends on what you feel is going to feed your soul, feed your business, feed your skills. I mean, if, you know, and a lot of this, you could watch a replay while Lincoln is napping. So all of this content is pretty flexible. Um, coaching does require commitment, being in this coaching relationship. And obviously you were interested and got in touch with me because you're ready to kind of up level things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it may take an additional um, time commitment in the off hours between our calls just to check in with yourself and go through like you'll take notes during calls i'll take notes during calls and you may come away at the end of each session with okay i'm committed to trying to write a new post or i'm committed to an extra hour of sleep tomorrow or an extra 15 minutes of meditation so your time commitment that you make in this program is going to be up to you and the time you put into it will directly reflect what you get out of it. But the last thing I want you to do is burn out. So okay. if you are already feeling overwhelmed and you have a million courses on your plate, this probably isn't a great fit for you at this time. But if you feel like you have an extra hour or two hours a week to dedicate to this work, then I think you'd be okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that sounds doable. I could do that. Okay, fabulous. All, All right. right. Um, well, Perfect. I've got my payment form pulled up right now. I can go ahead and enter your information and um, I can send over the contract. Okay, sounds great. Let's do it. Fabulous. Um, do you have any more questions? No, I think that's it. You I love answered it. everything. I really appreciate it. I love it. Awesome. Okay, so you all got to see what a potential mock discovery call can look like. I think Krista did a fabulous job today. And what I'm going to help you all to do now is I'm going to do a share screen and I'm going to show you all the discovery call checklist that I provide for. Um, I provide this for my coach training students and also my members who join my membership, um, find your first paying client. So you all can get access to this when you join my membership. And we'll go through this worksheet together really fast. And I'll show you just all the really awesome things that Krista did to make this a fabulous discovery call. So that way you all can learn what to include in your discovery calls moving forward as well. Like I said, here's the discovery call checklist and you all will get access to this, whether you join coach training or the coaching membership. Um, so I don't really know if Krista did a pre-ritual ceremony or not to create a positive, abundant mindset, but I always recommend that coaches do that before they get on a sales call to be in, in the right mindset. It's everything. Um, the next thing that Krista did that I really liked is she created her opening statement um, to create that trust. Trust is the number one ingredient in sales. And I really felt like she, she showed up as a leader 
and showed up as the expert of her coaching process. Um, she didn't quite use this exact phrase here, which is totally fine. Like I encourage everybody to find their own way, own unique way of saying things and shouldn't go off a template that someone else gives you. So um, she did a really great job at introducing herself and telling me what to expect for the upcoming call, which felt made me feel really safe. And I didn't feel like I had to wonder what we were going to talk about. And um, so I just really appreciated that as the potential client today. And then in this part, this is where you're gonna kind of start to bring in your coaching skills and ask some open-ended questions. And you're not really doing coaching in this part because we don't have enough time to dive into people's issues, but we really do wanna understand like why the client booked a call with us and then take the time to really hear about their vision and their goals and to almost um, do more of like an interview type of style, which um, Krista did a great job with. And so she started off with that first question of basically saying like, what made you book the call today? Um, that's a really great place to start out. And she didn't go through all of these questions and that's totally okay. To be honest, I don't go through all of these questions on my discovery call either, but it's nice to have them in the background in case I get stuck or um, I don't know what to say. So these are some things that you can definitely ask and remember to keep them open-ended to keep the conversation going. And then what you want to do is after you take some time to, you know, understand what your client is looking for. And then if you're feeling like this is going to be a good match, you feel like it's going to be a good match energetically and that your program is going to be a good fit based off what the client is saying, then you want to make sure to not forget the, um, to invite the client to work with you. This is something that I see a lot of coaches forget to do. Um, so uh, Krista, I think, I don't know if Krista used exactly this phrase of like, I'd love to tell you what I think, or, or Let's see, what is it that I'm trying to say? I, when I do my discovery calls, I like to say something along the lines of like, based off what I'm hearing you say today, I think we would be a really great fit to work together. Would it be all right for me to tell you about the details of my coaching package at this time? Um, so Chris, I don't think you, I'm curious, do you remember what it is that you said to me before you started diving into the details of your coaching package? So I think at the beginning, beginning of the call, I said that I was going to ask you some questions and then I was going to, we could discuss a little bit about what to work, like how to work together. And then I can't really remember <laughs> if, oh, so I asked you if you had any questions and you asked me, you know, I, I'd love to know more about your coaching program. Okay what's the like i'm interested in your one-on-one -on -one, but how much is it how long is it what's included yada okay. yada and you kind of invited me <laughs> to do it right i've done this enough times now that yeah i kind of took the initiative here um but probably a lot of maybe a lot of clients wouldn't know to ask that so yeah i would encourage krista to be a little bit more direct next time and say like yeah i I really would love to work with you. And based off everything I'm hearing, I really feel like my program would be a good fit. Can I share the details of my program with you at this time? And by asking that question, you're putting your client at choice and you're creating trust for them and allowing them to say yes to moving forward. So that's something to, um, you know, it's important to remember to do on sales calls. Again, trust is the number one ingredient in sales. Um, and then at the end, a lot of times after you share the details of your coaching package, um, a lot of times objections can come up. So that can be objections around, I need to talk to my partner or my husband or wife first, or um, what, kind of like what I said, I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough time to commit, or I'm worried about the money piece. It's basically just like unprocessed fear coming up. And this is where you can actually bring in a little bit of coaching with permission. So I thought Krista did a really great job at handling this. Um, I do have a formula here for objections. I think it's always a good idea to um, be human first and just acknowledge the 
the fear or whatever is coming up and then ask for permission to coach and then get to the root emotion. And for me, that root emotion was in the past, not trusting myself um, and signing up for too many things and getting overwhelmed. And something that I would have liked to see Krista maybe do a little bit differently for her next discovery call is instead of saying, well, I don't know if this program would be a good fit for you if you don't have the time, is to almost like see it as a challenge and say, um, actually, my program would be the perfect fit for you because we could help you to work on work-life balance, or we could help you to work on energy management, or like almost like using my objection as like kind of the first coaching request for us to work together. Love that. Yeah, yeah. Because we've oh. already determined I'm a good fit for this program. And so when you when I heard you say, I don't, I mean, I think it is good to do that sometimes, but it almost started to create a little bit of doubt for me. So yeah, I would just love to see next time use that as a way to say like actually this is kind of one of the first things that we could work on is is helping you to find yeah more work-life balance with running your business and taking care of your child at the same time would you be open to that I love that that feels so much more expansive than there yeah. are so many sales courses and stuff out there that are just like make it uh, exclusive and don't come off as too eager and everything like that. And it was just like, I, in the moment felt like maybe, oh, I don't want to push too hard. Like I don't, so I'll just kind of give her the take it or leave it. Like, like, oh, it might be for you. It might not be free, but yes, I like your way better. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not a bad tactic and that could potentially work on some people. So again, I'll leave that up to you, Krista, to decide what feels best for you. Yeah. I've just always found it feels best for me to really um, work with the client and to say, this is what, this is how we could use the program to support you. Yeah. Turning that objection into the very first coaching request. That's freaking brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I wish that I could say I came up with that. I didn't. I learned it from someone. I don't know who. So. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I learned it from you. So I'll just believe you made it up. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the next part is that, uh, so after you, so you're going to get one of three different answers. You're going to get a yes, a maybe, or a no. So obviously today I was yes. Um, and then that's when you would get the onboarding details. Um, some coaches are going to ask for a payment uh, right directly on the call. I don't do that. Um, what I do is I have, I send a contract first and then once my client signs the contract, then I send them the invoice or the PayPal link after that. Um, it's up to each coach, whatever they feel comfortable with, with collecting payment details. Uh, if I was a maybe today, then um, hopefully Krista would you know, could ask something on the lines of like, well, what would it take to make this a full yes for you? And then we could schedule a follow-up call for one to two days later. And then if it's a no, just say thank you. And how can we stay in touch? And so that's usually how um, a discovery call would end. And so then really quick, I just want to review, um, literally just like an hour ago, I came up with these six different questions. So um, this is something that Krista would go through, but we'll just go through together. So did I trust myself to show up as a leader and expert of my coaching process? Um, yes, I 100% felt that Krista was the leader and the expert in her coaching process on this discovery call. And then um, did I help the client to feel safe and supported? I felt very safe and very supported. She put me at choice a lot of times. She took the time to actively listen to me. She made eye contact. She smiled a lot. Um, asked me good questions. Her energy was really good and upbeat. So I felt very safe and supported. Uh, next question. Did I take the time to hear my clients' visions and goals? Absolutely. I didn't feel like Krista was on this like agenda um, that she really like wanted to hear what it is that I wanted to create. And that felt really good for me because I don't have too many people in my life that are sitting down in front of me and saying like, Krista, what, what goals do you want to create? for this year? How do you want to take your business to the next level? So that was awesome. Uh, next, did I help the client to feel empowered as the expert in their life and to make their own choices? Um, absolutely. I didn't feel like, 
like Krista was pushing me in any way. I felt like she really like trusted and honored my process and she wasn't like showing up like, okay, well, this is what you're going to need to do to fix your business and to take things to the next level. And um, I didn't feel, I didn't feel like she was trying to fix me. I didn't feel like I was broken. So that was really good because we don't want to make our clients feel like that. And that's where we bring in a little bit of that coaching energy and mindset in right there. Um, and then did I invite the client to, to work with me if it felt like a good fit? We talked about earlier, this could have been a little bit stronger and more direct, but um, she did talk about it at the beginning of the call. And then she did share the details of her coaching package with me. And then the last one, did I stay unattached from the outcome of needing to make a sale? Um, yeah, again, I didn't feel like Krista was like trying to pressure me or shame me or make me feel guilty into working with her. I felt like I had the power to say no if I wanted to, and that would have been okay. And again, um, our clients need to feel like they have the choice to make their own choice. So it's okay if they say no or yes, or maybe um, they don't have to say yes on the call. And so, yeah, um, I, I feel like Krista hit most of these and it was a really great discovery call. Thank you so much. Thank you for the practice and the valuable feedback. This is really, really helpful. Um, yeah. yeah, I was nervous going into it, but I think the more I practice, the better. And this, this was, this checklist is so helpful. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, just so for, you know, everyone watching here, um, most of us aren't born at being good at sales. Sales no. is a learned skill. It takes time and it takes practice. And so if you're ready to feel really confident with getting on discovery calls with potential clients and wanting to find paying clients, then I would highly, highly recommend um, joining my coaching membership, find your first paying client. So you'll get access to this discovery call checklist. And then we also have um, live business trainings every month. So we'll help you to improve your sales skills and knowing the things to say and ask on your discovery calls. And then you'll also get um, time to practice it as well. We do a lot of role playing and you can, you'll get feedback from me. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend joining the membership. So just go ahead and check out the link below the video where you can get more information. And thank you again, Krista, for being our demo coach today. I so appreciate your time and energy. And I can't wait for you to sell out all of your coaching spots and to continue to keep making money. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and all of your feedback. And yeah, if you guys are thinking about joining the program, the membership, or the life coach training, it's worth every freaking penny. So just do it. Okay. That's my plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're awesome. And I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye everyone.